In the not so distant past, all films were shot on celluloid film. And with this physical film, naturally came these small photochemical particles that we call film grain. Nowadays, most of us use digital cameras. My camera's a digital camera. Your camera probably is a digital camera. Most of Hollywood movies are shot on digital cameras. And because of that, we no longer naturally get that film grain in our videos. So we are left to add it in post if we so desire. But why? Why add grain to your image and when should we? Hey guys, I am Dylan and today we're gonna answer those questions and I will be giving away three free film grain overlays that you can use for your videos. So stay with me and I will show you how you can use those as well. A lot of people see digital video as too clean and too sharp, which I know some people may say, yeah, that sounds good, clean, sharp, that's what we want, right? And I think in certain regards, yes, but when we're watching a film, sometimes we wanna feel immersed in a different world and not feel like we're watching a home video per se. Adding film grain can add a different dynamic and texture to your video. It just gives your video a different vibe. It can help to portray a specific mood or feeling, whether that be cinematic, gritty, or old. There's a reason why it's added to Hollywood movies nowadays, even though the majority of studios have gone digital. I think part of it is kind of a nostalgia from the old days of cinema, and the other part is the fact that it has become synonymous with a cinematic feel for films. Another benefit of using film grain in your videos is to help smooth over any imperfections in your actual footage. Now, this only works if the imperfections are not too serious. And I'm mainly talking about if you're shooting in Apic color and you are color grading and maybe you push your hue or saturation a little bit too much and you start to see some breakages or banding in your footage. Adding a bit of film grain can help to break up those patches of color. Basically because there aren't enough shades of color in your image, you tweaking the hue or saturation while color grading can cause color in different pixels to not match. So the film grain kind of smooths over those pixels so it's a more continuous continuous shade. Now you shouldn't always use film grain, at least in my opinion. For example, corporate shoots, real estate videos, product videos, and similar niches, I wouldn't use film grain. In my opinion, these videos benefit from a sense of realism and clarity and sharpness, and adding film grain kind of takes away from that, in my opinion. But if you're shooting, say, a short film, a feature film, a music video, anything that you want to really look cinematic and have a dreamier feel, for lack of a better term, I would maybe try putting some film grain over top and see how it adds to your image. The three film grain overlays that I mentioned are in the description below. So after you download them, here's a quick guide on how to use them. So after you have the film grain downloaded, all you're going to do is drag it onto whatever editing software you're using. So I'm using Final Cut here. And because they are MOV files and they're just overlays, what you'll do is you will copy them and paste them one after the other. Let me back up in the timeline. And then all you're going to do is, I think in Adobe Premiere, it's called nesting. Here it's called making a comp pound clip and final cut. I'll just call it film grain. And then when you're over your footage, you will go to wherever your blend mode is, change it to overlay. And from here, you can adjust the opacity to uh, change the intensity of the grain. I'm going to go about maybe 54% here. And that is it, guys. If this video taught you something or helped you out in any way, help me out by pressing the thumbs up button. And if you have not subscribed yet and you're passionate about filmmaking and creating, make sure to check out my channel after this and press that red button that everyone is talking about. I will see you guys next week. Have a great day.